Hi guys, welcome to another episode of World of Truck. This is the American version, American Truck Simulator. My name is Wilfred. So today I would like to continue playing the new DLC, the Washington DLC, as well as the uh, Forest uh, Machinery DLC. So now the uh, with the Forest Machinery DLC, you get quite a lot of interesting kind of trailer, uh, specifically for the I guess logging industry and yeah, I'm going to truck one of these things called the Mucha from the Oregon into the Washington State, Seattle. Um, so I think this is not going to be a very long journey. Alright, so let's just... Uh... So welcome to my garage. And it's not raining. Fantastic. This is a Volvo truck and is a uh, rather powerful. So I think in front was a railway crossing. Okay, the um, local time now is, uh, well, game time now is 4.37pm. My, my local time is about 7.11pm. So in front, turn left. So obviously, I've uh, I got it wrong. <laughs> how did I how did I got it wrong? I have no idea. Let me just uh, make a make a turn here. Well, leave a side seeing seeing for you guys. And uh, I think I'm against the traffic or not. Not quite sure, maybe not. Okay, let's try again. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea what has gone wrong. Okay, red light. Yep, that is the, um, I think I'm somewhere in between the Oregon and the Washington state. By right, I think the garage was on, uh, was in the Washington state. So I need to cross over to the uh, Oregon state to pick up this machinery. And then I'll truck all the way to Seattle. There's a bus there, <laughs> just stop. Interesting. Yeah, there's lines on the road that guide you to go the right way. I thought it's quite interesting.
quite a long way though. Right, a little bit of a bridge. Overtaking in our truck. Well, mine doesn't have a load. So now I just need a little bit of concentration, I think, um, and uh, I think I'm doing all right. Hope there's a lot of flyover. Sometimes you end up in the wrong place, take the wrong turn. Oh, that's pretty awesome. It's a little bit like raising. <laughs> Alright, that is uh, Paddleton, and I suppose I need to get out from here. Traffic light. Okay, 40 km per hour is the speed limit. And I follow the road through, I presume. And turn left in front. Now time is about um, 5.30 p.m. and the... Uh, well, that's a bit of fun. I, I wasn't expecting the, uh, the turn to be that sharp. Yep, apologies. Right, let's see what the, uh, the machinery looks like. Alright, that looks pretty cool. Right, so that is um let's see how it looks like from the back. So that looks something like that. Um one of the forest machinery. Okay. And uh let's head to Seattle then. The it's only about fourteen tons, so it's not that heavy. Okay, so I totally destroyed the signboard. That's not a good sign. Um, <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so I need to uh, have a little bit of strategy here. I try not to do anything stupid. It's a quite a big kind of like truck around me here. Um, let me see how I can best approach this junction itself. How about that? Well, I think I know what the problem is. It's actually rather wide as well. Yeah, there's a last minute turning. Wasn't quite sure. Yeah, but ah, oh, wow! Hang on, last moment. I was uh, <laughs> I was looking at the trucks in front, and I was like, nearly missed the turning. All right, two lanes merge onto one. Yeah, there's a bridge uh, on the other side, and uh, let me see if I can take a nice photo here. Um, and I can try to submit to the World Truck website and see if I get selected to <laughs> to uh, to feature myself in this um, in this this game, I guess, because they they do pick up uh, trucks that that uh, picture from the truck. Well, actually, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I think uh, it looks something like that. Looks pretty cool. That is like whoa. That's pretty pretty long actually. The the whole thing is very long. You can do a zoom out as well. Uh, yeah, it's actually pretty long here. That's uh, that's amazing. Yep. So that's it. Uh, let me just take a picture here. Lovely. Continue. So I I guess there's a reason why I've struggled a little bit because of the length of the uh, the trailer itself, and I'm very sure they'll ask me to wait myself. Oh, you can bypass, is that? Is it you can bypass? I think so. Well, there's a very slow moving vehicle. So let me see how that works. Do I need to turn, uh, keep left, or this lane is fine? I think this lane is fine. To go ahead uh, towards the sunset, so I need to plan when I would like to uh, rest um, for the day before because I think otherwise you'll get dark, and in the dark, it's kind of difficult to uh, difficult to to do any delivery.
because the area tends to be a little bit dark as well. It would be quite interesting if it rains in Seattle again. I mean, every time I pass by Seattle, it seems like it rains <laughs> with this game. So, yep, it's a very, very real. Um, Fortunately, my break is all wrong. Fortunately, I've got good break and good reaction reaction time. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just like you know can't stop in time and uh, hit the back of the the uh, the vehicle because uh, with the load, your know, braking distance seems to have lengthened as well. Just checking uh, if everything all right because I uh, can't really see the back and uh, sometimes you do want to check whether you have damaged anything like the trailer or the cargo and or the cargo. Um, I think the trailer is fine. Sometimes it does have some wear and tear with the, with the, with the wheel and so on. But the um, this the cargo they try not to um, you know destroy <laughs> or damage. Now the ooh Yakima. It would be nice if I could find a um, rest station. Would have been nice. Oh, it's a little bit uncomfortable side by side with another truck on the, at the same speed or similar speed. be glaring as well. Now where is the service station? I think um <laughs> Woohoo another bridge. Well I think I can stay here or not. Yeah, the scenery is lovely. It's a fair bit of like um, what is going uphill, by the way. I think this is where this is the correct way.
All right, the sun is setting. Well, that's pretty, pretty glaring as well. Another two hours. Or maybe I should show you the uh, night scene of... Uh, oh, but there's a service station, I think. Is there a service station? Yeah, there is, I think. Do I want to do that? With uh, such a big load? Not quite sure. Okay, the light is on. I think um, I need to cater for a lot of space for this turn. Uh, I think I probably overdone it a little bit. Um, okay, let me see if there is a space for me to... Well, what? I need one for truck. I could do two way either or I oh yeah I could just go in like that. So welcome back and the after the break at the service station now i'm halfway to seattle um so i've started off in uh, paddleton uh or oregon to kenwick and then yakima then uh yeah i'm just heading towards this direction go to everett and going down south back to the uh, seattle so i'm looking forward to it it's a beautiful day outside and the okay let's track it um so Again, it looks somewhat like this one, uh, more chair, very nice, beautiful, and yeah, that is my truck, by the way. Right, so, uh, the reason why I look at this view is that it's easier to reverse out. Yeah, it is beautiful. Um, very nice, the trailer. A bit longer than I, uh, I'm used to, but I think it's, uh, it's nice. Let me see if there's a way to go out, or I, 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 I've come the wrong way. There is a way to go out, yeah. Okay, in front, turn right. Oops. Okay, sorry guys.
And let me turn on my mirrors. Well, I think there are some mirror that I forgot to turn on. Yep, that's the one. It uh, it helps me, of course, to see where things are, and uh, help and help you guys to see where the back of my truck is from the uh, from the angle. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, and a lot of nice shadow here. Uh, very, very greenery. A lot of greenery in this part of Washington. left lane that got merged into mine. Now it's a down slope. There is a... There's a vehicle breakdown. Yeah, I think just now was a little bit of like an upslope. Uh, I feel that my truck wasn't really responding <laughs> to my gas pedal. Okay, 50 mile per hour, Kilo mile per hour, yep. So uh, in front, I need to merge into the highway. rocks wow there's a there's a scenery on the left hand side as well um, there's a river on the uh, on the left hand side oh this is beautiful Yeah, the shadow is really realistic. Look at the cabin. I mean, you know, like uh, the light reflecting on there is nice. It's, uh, it's really hard to focus because I, I, I try to see the scenery on the left hand side and the road is kind of winding as well. Um, there's a rest area in front, but I think I'm fully rested. Yeah, be cautious there because uh, you try not to um, you know, cross over to the other, lane, the other lane because you may hit onto a car that is uh, incoming from the other side of the road and yeah, just, just want to be cautious a little bit because this trailer is a lot longer than the one I'm used to 
Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess there's a fun part, you know, getting some of the, some of the DLC that uh, give you a little bit of um, you know challenges. Right, it's beautiful. It's going uphill. A lot like a greenery everywhere. It remind me a lot about the uh, the Oregon as well. Yep, still going up slope. Oh, this part is really nice. It's a little bit of up slope, a little bit of down slope, and you yeah, have to control the gear a little bit. Now, I suspect the next bit is rather nice as well. Could overtake this guy, I guess. I don't think the cars are any faster than me behind me. Right. Okay. So I have to stick behind. Stuck behind this uh this truck. So yeah, trying to keep a safe distance as well because I don't know uh, if I need to break uh, suddenly. Well, this is really fun. Um, the the sides are quite narrow, so. And uh, it's in a band, and you have to watch out for what's uh, what's happening around you. Trying not to hit on either side. Yep, it's very very exciting. Yeah, I love this part. It's really fun. I think um, potentially, possibly, it is the most fun part of the entire American Truck Simulator. There's a lot of like roads that go bends, and and uh, it's uh, rather rather fun as well because there's uphill and downhill, uh, a little bit of gear, kind of like shifting as well, going in the tunnel. So yep, it has all the checkboxes uh, to be a really fun DLC. I think. Yeah, if you cross the uh, the line, you'll have some kind of sound to it, so as to remind you to stay in it. Right, weighing station. They may call me. Whoa, look at that. You can bypass. So okay, that's fine. So I don't have to go there. Wow, look at the place, man. Oh, this looks really nice. Yeah, there's a train on the other side as well. Wow, this is beautiful. So I need to stay on the right hand side I guess um, because I need to turn left. I hope I get it right. Whoa look at this scenery here. Wow. 
Okay, yes, I'm right. This is to Seattle with a double T. <laughs> Thanks for one of you corrected my spelling mistake. Um, yep. That was a bit abrupt. <laughs> Mainly because I only spotted it like last moment. I need to make a turn. Destination is reaching uh, very soon. Another fifty-three minutes to uh, to arrive to arrive at the. Um, I presume it's a log logging company, lodging company, um, logging. Sorry. Why do the oh man? I got bombed. Well, that's the problem when you are, like, um, let me see. Well, the, <laughs> the real, wow, wow, this is beautiful. This is Seattle, is it? Well, the, I think, I think my truck is so strong that, um, that, uh, that I sustain no damage. And since I don't get fined, I think it wasn't my fault. I was signaling. And the, uh, well, although I was in the middle of the lane, in a way, man, my, I jumped in real life. That was so realistic. Alright, this is Seattle, I think, approaching. But I'm quite amazed that nothing got damaged by the impact. And, um,. I think uh, the game deemed that I, I wasn't at fault somehow, and uh, I wasn't get fine. I should I should earn some money though, by the way. Maybe they should pay me instead. Whoa, my uh, my gas tank is a little bit low. I think I should be able able to make it. Whoa, this is nice, man. Look, we got like a whoa. It's very hard to focus because the scenery is so beautiful. It's so realistic. There are like um, you know, flyover underneath the flyover. There are some car park. And the, uh, now I'm entering the Seattle, I think. Fourth Avenue, whatever. I think this is the port of Seattle. So it's first time here, no idea what to do here. Okay, so here is when you... Wow, this is super narrow. This is so much fun. Um, well, this is going to be hard, but what the hell, I'm going to do, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It'll probably take a few, kind of like a try. But I, I'll, I'll try my best. That's so cool, like going to this place here. This is a really large port. Now I need to figure out where I need to park this guy. Stop. Now, uh, where do I need to park? Whoa, 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 there's something on the other side as well. Try not to hit it. Try not to hit it. Um, okay, now I think 
Where do I need to park it? Somehow I got stuck. How did I got stuck? Yeah, I was trying to follow the, uh, the arrows, so I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Because if I go anywhere else, it seems that I'm getting damaged as well, no? Hub. Is it here? Can it open for me? Nope. Right, so I um I think I think I bypassed the gateway. I'm not supposed to go there somehow. And now I'm trying to see where I'm supposed to go because it's getting a bit confusing. This huge container area is super confusing. Alright, so that <laughs> okay, so that is where I need to park. Right next to this guy, which should not be that hard, I hope. Well, let me see whether there are trucks around or not. Sometimes it does have some trucks around it. Still a bit of space on the left hand side. Yeah, I think this, this will do. Lovely. And yeah, well, unfortunately, I've um, I didn't know that I wasn't supposed to get through the uh <laughs> the area, and I got stuck. Um, and it damaged the uh, the trailer a little bit, but somehow the cargo is fine, so that is good. So yep, yeah, thank you so very much for watching, and uh, I think. Looking back, I should have avoided the um, going through that gate when they say stop. means you can't get through, I guess. But lesson learned. Sometimes you have to play the game to learn the game. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, episode on the Forest Machinery DLC together with the Washington DLC. I'll see you next time. Happy trucking. Bye.